Well, you may have missed this story, but eSports entering a new phase, media outfit phase clan with roots in professional video gaming going public through a SPAC merger, valuing the company at $725 million. This as Gen Z content and their creators start to make even bigger marks on the mainstream. Joining us with more, Josh Schaefer. Yeah, I finance. Uh, tell us more about the deal that's happened yesterday. Right. What exactly is the FaZe Clan and how's the stock doing so far? Yeah, so FaZe Clan is a media company. So it's in eSports, e of course, right? But really, it's kind of a media company. It was founded in 2010 and it was started from YouTube creators that were gaming. These were just the kind of people that go online, they game, and then they sort of found a way to build it out into something bigger, as you can kind of see on the screen behind us now. People love to watch this stuff online. And so they call it a Gen Z native brand, and that's because 80% of their audience is actually made up of people from 13 to 34. And we can show now kind of their social media following, and that kind of gives a good example of how they built themselves. You wow. can see 6.3 million on TikTok, 5.7 million on Twitter, 8.67 million on YouTube. Now, to compare that, I was looking at some big sports teams, right? Use the Dallas Cowboys, for example, mm. probably the biggest sports franchise in the U.S. They have 281,000 followers on YouTube. FaZe Clan has 8.67 million. Yeah. And that's the kind of place where you can really monetize. Mm. So that's kind of their path to profitability, to bigger revenue. They did about 50 million in revenue last year, so a lot smaller than sports teams that we know here in the U.S. But... With YouTube, with streaming, you can sort of build out fans and then monetize fans through merchandise, through streaming, and kind of create your own little media world in some sense there. You know, and that's really interesting because there's the monetization, right? Because a lot of people might be looking at the story and going, well, they went public? What's, what's right. the story there? But it's important to note they're not the first company to go public. Now, they went about it by a SPAC yesterday, which right. is already pretty rare in a 2022 where we haven't seen a lot of SPAC deals. But... Is there a reference point, other types of companies to compare it against? Yeah. So FaZe went public yesterday. Stock hasn't done great over the last day, of course. Super Gaming League has been public for over a year now. And their stock in this environment that we've seen thus far this year, kind of that risk-off environment, people not really looking for investments like that, has not done great. So Super Gaming League stock is down, I believe, about 80% on the year um, and so they really haven't done well over the past. I mean, it's a penny stock, essentially. It's right. Yeah, you can, there's, <laughs> yeah. The, there's the full max chart there. You can see it's down 86% since the IPO. And it's just not really that kind of environment right now. So I think that's the most interesting thing maybe here is FaZe Clan, interesting esports is going public, but also a SPAC merger right now. I don't know, Brian. Yeah, a bold time to be going public for sure. Yeah, finance is Josh Schaefer. Thanks so much for the breakdown.